Well, hey crafting friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming, and on this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how super easy it is to do glass etching. We're going to be using this Armor Etch, which came from Hobby Lobby. We'll be using some snowflake stencils, because these make it even easier. And <clears throat> we'll be using these glasses that I picked up recently at, I think I got these at Walmart. Um, so, as you're hopping on, say hi, let me know where you're watching from, feel free to sprinkle, feel free to ask questions. At the end, I'll get anyone who wants links, links, and I have a bunch of other projects here to show you. Um, glass etching is one of my favorite things to do. You get a super quick result. It's permanent. And the glass is usable as just exactly how it was before you etched it. So if it was dishwasher safe before, it's dishwasher safe now. If it could hold, if it was like a glass coffee mug, if it could hold a hot liquid before, it can hold it now. Um, so this is one that I was doing this morning. Isn't that pretty? And also I was working on this. This is a little glass plate. It might be harder to see. There we go. Hey, these comments right here, if they are in your way, you should be able to swipe them away, either left or right or up and down, and they should disappear. And then you should be able to bring them back if you want them. On this, I did the back and the front of the glass. So let's jump right in. A um, couple things I want to tell you about working with stencils on glass. Uh, if your stencils are new or newer, then you're going to want to really, 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 really fuzz them because glass is super sticky. Well, or our stencils, these stencils from MagnoliaDIY.com, they um, are super sticky and they stick to glass very well. And you don't want to stretch them when you're pulling them up. And I know somebody's going to ask this question, so I'm going to tell you right now. Does this armor etch hurt your stencils? No, it doesn't, not at all. Um, okay, so what I was thinking is, how fun would it be to make some sets of glasses as gifts for Christmas? I'm doing this winter snowflake theme, but you could do anything you want. The pattern stencils that you can get at Magnolia are great for this kind of a project. And um, I'm going to show you, this is one of the glasses from that set. We're going to do two ways, okay? The first way is with some of these. All right, so I'm going to lay my glass on here, but also I'm going to fuzz my stencils here. These snowflakes are so cute. And... Um, this all over snowflake pattern that releases um, tonight at midnight, if you're watching live. It is super cute and I'm going to use it a ton, I know. Okay, so I'm taking this one, I've just fuzzed it, and I'm going to just lay it on my glass. Okay, and because there's a curve for glass, you kind of want to move slow. And sometimes you'll have to pick your stencil up. A little bit and lay it back down and press it on there. You want there to be no bubbles or gaps or anything like that. Okay, and then I'm going to apply this etching cream. Do I have a paintbrush? Let me find one. I'm going to apply this etching cream with a paintbrush rather than a squeegee because it's just easier to do it that way. Um, and here's another, uh, this is a question I get all the time. Um, why does the color go away when you wash it? This pay, this etching cream is white. So you're going to see the etching cream sitting on the top of your glass until you wash it. And when you wash it off, you'll see that this stuff has actually cut or etched into the glass. It's really so cool. So I'm just going to take a blob. 
And as far as I can tell, pretty much all etching cream is about the same. So if you have etching cream already, you can use it. Um, if you don't have any, I got this at Hobby Lobby. It was $6.99 and it does go a long ways. Also, I get a question about whether you can etch in color. If your glass is clear, when it is scratched, it will be scratched on a clear glass. So it's not going to change the color of your glass. Um, I have heard people say that they've used things like rub and buff over the top of glass etching, um, but that would not work on something that you would be consuming food on, and that would also not work on something that would need to be washed. So if it was just a decorative piece, you could try that. So I'm just gonna get this whole thing covered. And then move it around a little bit. Everything on there. I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes. And let's do another one. And then I'll show you, do you guys remember when we did this? This is my glue stick container. It was a good find that I etched with the daisy, all over daisy pattern. This one I etched with the daisy quads and it says gather and it's got some flowers right here. Can you kind of see that? It's hard. It's filled with squeegee. And this one says shine like a sunflower. Anyways, there's so many, I have glasses over here to show you too. There's so many things you can do. So what I would do with this is I would also put one on the back and then after those two were etched and washed, I would come back and put two on the side. And this is one that I did just exactly like that. See, this side and this side have, stem, have the snowflakes, and then this side and this side have snowflakes. And you can keep adding if you want. Um, but I'm gonna show you this now. And I will tell you, it is a little more, difficult to handle a big stencil like this on a round surface, but we're going to make it work. I am going to fuss it up. And I'm fuzzing today on my tacky towel, but Donna says she loves etched glass. I do too. Um, but I could, I could fuzz this on my t-shirt, on a pair of jeans, on a low lid tea towel. Don't fuzz it on a terry uh, cloth with bath, bathrobe or something like that because you'll get a whole bunch of pieces of uh, terry cloth <laughs> stuck on the back of your stencil. But we're just making it slightly less sticky so we won't stretch it. When we pull it up and I'm going to say that's sufficient. Okay, I'm going to lay my glass here and I'm going to just start some random place in the center and this is going to be going at an angle. You'll see what I mean in just a minute. Pretty darn sticky. Oh gosh. <laughs> this really is a project that is better to do with an older stencil and not something that is brand new. So I'm going to keep pulling it up and kind of stretching it out. To get it to lay flat. And I'll do the same with the other side. I want to avoid ruining my stencil the first time I'm really using it. There we go. This might not have been the best idea.
Okay, we're just going to edge part of this because I really don't want to ruin my new stencil. Let me think, what can I put in here? with this project is you could um, cut your stencil. If you were going to do a whole bunch of this project, you could cut your stencil smaller. They're a little bit easier to work with when they are a little bit smaller. I've got some wrinkles here that I want to work out a little bit. All right, I'm going to say good enough. And I'll come back and do the other side of it later. This is like wrestling with a, um, <laughs> a python. Okay. So let's just grab some etching cream. And it doesn't need to be very thick. And um, the other thing is, it needs to sit on your project for at least five minutes. But if you have to do something like this morning, I started working on this glass plate and then I went to get my hair cut. And so my etching cream was sitting on the stencil on my plate for two and a half, three hours. It was just fine. You don't have to rush to get anything up when you're working with etching cream. And if your stencils seem a little clogged up, this can actually help that a little bit. It seems to sort of clear out the gunk, the medium that might be stuck in your, um, in the holes, in the mesh holes of your stencils. I think I'm going to get the edge of these snowflakes right here and then I'm going to come back to it after I've finished this etching and I'll lay my stencil down again and finish the other side. some of this on your hands you just want to clean it off promptly uh, with water don't um, eat it obviously and don't get it in your eyes but you don't some people are kind of afraid of working with etching cream you don't need to be um, it's you don't have to wear a respirator or anything crazy it really doesn't have a super strong smell um, this brand is Armor Etch from Hobby Lobby. You can use that brand or a different brand. Let me show you some of the cups that I have done. And let me move this over a little bit. And then we'll take this off of this other one. And I'll show you the rinsing process. Okay, so obviously I love this leopard pattern. These glasses here were something I got at Goodwill. They were in perfect condition. I got four glasses for like 59 cents a piece. This one has that daisy pattern on it. There you go, there you can see it. This one has the leopard, which I love. Uh, this little short glass also has the leopard, and it looks really cool. 
And then this one right here has that uh, lace berry all over pattern stencil on it. And this one has the retro flowers, which is so cute. Totally reminds me of the 1970s. So be looking um, at your stores for glasses. And you can also do glass plates from uh, Dollar Tree. This set right here was like $12 for these four glasses. And I do have to tell you, I don't love the shape of these as much as I love just the straight up and down. These are really more of a stemless wine glass, but this is what I could grab while I was there. This can be an everything kind of a glass. I have water in it. I'll have an orange juice in it. I'll have a Diet Coke in it. You could have a glass of wine or a mixed drink in it. So be looking for this shape. And it's a little bit straighter up and down, so it's easier to work with than something that's curved like this one. Okay, so probably we're at about five minutes. And I'm just going to pull my stencil off slowly. And then we're going to talk about what you're seeing. Oh gosh, it looks so good. This I'm throwing in a tub of water over here, but I will be bringing it over in just a minute. Okay, what you're seeing on the glass right now is the etching cream. When I wash it off, you'll see the etching. The cream will be gone. So you can't leave this on it. You have to wash it off. Um, but then they're, they're dishwasher safe, um, they're, they're totally usable, they're food safe, they're human consumption safe. You probably aren't going to etch the inside of the glass, but if you wanted to, you could, because this is not going to hurt you once you clean it off. So let me bring my tub of water over, and I'm going to grab some paper towels. And I'm just going to take one and I'm going to get it wet. I would do this in my kitchen sink and I would just spray this, but we're going to just stick it in the tub and quickly with a paper towel, rinse the etching cream off. Can you see it? And then I would use a sponge and some dish soap to wash the whole entire thing. It could go in the dishwasher if you wanted. Um, I'm going to show you how quick this is. And you can feel it. It is etched into the glass. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. And you can randomly place these snowflakes, which I think you can use these all winter long if not all year long. And if you didn't want it to be seasonal, you could use a different stencil, an all-over pattern or something like this, a fun design. So, let's reveal the other one. Let me see if I can get it open. just pulling this open onto the backing sheet. And it looks like my stencil is no worse for the wear. What you're seeing. I mean, for all the trouble I have, that looks pretty darn good, don't you think? So I'll just come back and um, lay the stencil back down and do this other side. But I'm going to do the same thing and just rinse this off with a paper towel and then use a sponge and some dish soap to get it fully off. 
because as long as it's on the glass, it's etching. So if you smudge it like from one side to the other and you leave that for very long, it will etch like a smudge into your glass. not too bad and this one I don't know if it was five minutes or not it might not have been but it still did its thing that um, there's some type of chemical something happening that is actually scratching your glass Georgie says she loves the one with the snowflakes okay I just want to get it dried off enough that you can actually see it Use my other the same towel. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I mean, seriously. This is going to be so cute. Because this is a repeating pattern, I don't have to match it up exactly. Uh, it's just random snowflakes. So these are the two that we just did. And this is one that I did before that I have four snowflakes on and I may add some more. Can you see that? You can also see my fingerprints all over this. And then this is a glass plate that I did this morning. I etched the flat spot on the back with the, the all over pattern stencil. And then I etched three big snowflakes kind of um, off to the side on the front um, and you could also etch right over the top in the back but you could use this it could go in the dishwasher all of that good stuff so that is what I wanted to show you I'll show you the other projects real quick again um, if you missed the beginning you can come back and watch this on replay uh, just show you how to it's so easy etch glass and when you use a stencil, it's the easiest thing in the whole world. I do like to use a paintbrush when I'm etching on glass to apply my etching cream rather than a squeegee. And um, it needs about five minutes or longer if you want. Um, it's not harmful to your stencils. And I'm not in a super huge rush to get it rinsed off of this one. I'll do that as soon as I'm done. I'll take it up to the kitchen sink. But, okay, so I have done a ton of projects in my house. This is what I grabbed real quick. This is the retro flower pattern. I did this this summer. And I kind of like having a set that is not matched. This is the lace berries. This is the leopard. And this is part of a two-piece stencil. It's dog paw print and leopard design. And then this one is the um, daisy pattern, which I think looks like sunflowers. And then here, this big glass container that holds my glue sticks. This is also etched with that daisy pattern, which I think looks like sunflowers. And I did this little one. It says gather and then it has some sunflowers on the bottom. I can see it easy here, but it's hard to show on the camera. And this one says shine like a sunflower. These are from the sunflower quads stencil that was new this fall. So next time you're at a thrift store or a garage sale or your mother-in-law's house and she's cleaning out her cupboards, be looking for glass that you can stencil with the stencils and etching cream. You want it to be as straight as possible. Things that are curved like this are going to be very hard to do um, because it's hard to lay a, a stencil flat on a surface that's curved. So be looking for that if you're at a thrift store. Um, be looking for glass containers. They always have a ton of this kind of stuff. Um, I did some. I did a beautiful vase 
uh, what did I use? I used a flower pattern of some sort um, this summer. So be on the lookout. And then if you have any of these Magnolia DIY.com stencils, look through those and think about what you could use. You just need to pick up some Armor Edge and have a stencil or two. Um, and you can get glasses for super affordable. They make awesome gifts. They would be a great hostess gift. Um, they would be a great Christmas gift, or they'd be a great gift to make for your own house. So, hope you guys. Okay, Lorraine says hand painted free hand might be cool glass etching. That sounds wonderful, but I cannot paint anything. <laughs> I couldn't draw a horse if my life depended on it, but I can use a stencil. Stencils are easy. Um, so, I may be coming back because I have some stuff I want to show you. Uh, but if I do, it'll be within the next hour or so, so be looking. If you want links to any of the stencils or anything else Magnolia related, um, just let me know. And I'll be glad to get you a direct link to whatever it is you want to look at so you don't have to go to my website and hunt for a half an hour to find something. If you liked this, feel free to sprinkle all that. Well, hey, Terry, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, feel free to sprinkle. Feel free to ask questions. Oops. And um, I hope to see you guys again within the next hour or so. Bye.